Hi, my name is Jompen and I'm a co-founder of Jakt är Jakt, Scandinavia's biggest YouTube hunting and outdoor channel. I've taken part in close to 200 hunting videos since 2015 and I hunt more than 100 days per year and as much as I love hunting, I also love the storytelling and inspiring our viewers. Hunting and filming hunting really are two different animals, uh, no pun intended. And by this I mean that when filming, everything has to be just right. Otherwise, we don't have an episode and all our hard work would be down the drain. Hunting for me is not only the procuring of game meat, it's also the hanging out with your friends, enjoying the great outdoors and of course the thrill of the hunt. The thrill of the hunt is a double-edged sword. The feeling of killing the game with a perfect shot in a perfect setting is as wonderful and glorious as the feeling of screwing up is absolutely horrendous. Knowing that an animal is wounded somewhere in the woods because of my shortcomings is soul crushing. These things push me to be the best shot that I can possibly be. To become this, I need to use the best equipment out there. Driven hunts is a big thing in Sweden, and since I started using the Aimpoint Acro C2 on the driven hunts, my shooting has significantly improved. Not only in accuracy, but also in speed. The mounting of the rifle and finding the target is a lot quicker with Aimpoint compared to a regular scope. The eye box is a lot bigger, and since you shoot with both eyes open, you also have a better view of the surrounding area. This means safer shots with better checks on the surroundings, such as backstop, hunting dogs, dog handlers or other wild game. Follow-up shots are also faster to accomplish, since it's easier to keep the target in the sight while reloading. To be perfectly honest, I'm not a great shooter when it comes to shotgun. The amount of practice involved in becoming great in this discipline is time that I just don't have. Obviously, there are no real shortcuts, but the Aimpoint S1 really boosts my confidence while hunting small game. One of my biggest issues is mounting the gun correctly. I often find myself in a hurry, rushing things, which compromises the accuracy. With the S1 it's easier. The S1's reticle is way bigger uh, than the C2 used for rifle shooting, since you generally have a bigger hit area with the shotgun pellets. The stocks are also huge in Sweden, given the vast amounts of road air, fallow air and wild boar in certain parts of Sweden. The stock is something that I always look forward to and it's a wonderful way of hunting. It's just you, the rifle and the game. Deep down you know that no one but you is to blame or praise for the result of the hunt. However, the scopes uh, most people use for stalking are long-range high-powered scopes that are meant for long-range shots. Every now and then a situation occurs when you as a hunter are too good. If you happen to get too close to the game, the long rifle scope is useless. All you see in the scope is fur. For this reason, I always use a piggyback aimpoint. In this case, an Acro C1. With this mountain diagonally, I can easily switch between long range and short range in an instant. I keep my piggyback zeroed at 30 meters. At ranges beyond that, I switch back to my regular scope. So, correctly used, the aimpoint series of sights can make basically anyone a better shot and a better hunter, making every opportunity count.